Welcome back to r slash ask reddit where people answer the question who is your least favorite coworker and why? And if you want you can answer that question yourself in the comments. I would love to know. Without any further ado let's dive right into the stories. This one was posted by user John Walker's beard. I have a team lead who follows up coaching instructions with whispers that sound almost seductive. Regular voice Open up the accounting application, you have the bookmark, open it, ok, enter the user, now click search. Seductive whisper right in my effing ear, click search, searching. Regular voice, scroll to the bottom and click edit, now enter the new group you want to add to them. Seductive whisper in my ear again, search, enter the group, yes, now edit, add the group. The entire time he's inching closer and closer to my keyboard, desperate to just type for me and do the task himself. It is a mild form of <clears throat> harassment, but it is not me he wants to gently make love to, it is the computer. Well let's just say as long as he only wants to make love to the computer it should not be a big issue. But then again if someone would do this to me I would definitely feel extremely awkward and I don't think a boss or team leader should violate your personal privacy like that. The next one was posted by user they make me wear pants. This is kinda generic but as a manager whoever cannot keep their stuff together and makes me enforce the rules. Lots of rules exist because if they did not a-holes would take advantage and nothing would get done. Many of those same rules can be completely ignored and when you have got a team populated with responsible adults who are actually interested in doing a good job. My team is all salaried and I deliberately do not track when they show up and when they leave. Are they getting their work done? Yes. Good. Do they show up for all the meetings they are supposed to? Yes. Good. Can I usually find them if I need to discuss something? Etc. This only works when nobody is trying to take advantage of it the moment someone gets it in their head that it means that they can work fewer hours and get less stuff done because I'm not paying any attention, I'm always paying attention, I just don't always care, but now I have to pay attention and care about annoying things like what time they got to work this morning. And by the way guys I'm curious, do you have a lenient boss or do you have somewhat of a control freak? Let us know in the comments. And the next one is from user who pack money bags and he says I have a coworker who lies to get people in trouble and over stupid stuff too. Like for example I work at a spa sometimes people will accidentally send the rocks for hot stone treatments down our laundry chute. And every time he says he pulls the sheets out and shakes them out not knowing the rock was there and it hit him in the head. Like he wants them to get in trouble and knows it is not that big of a deal so he acts like he got hurt because of it. Another example is I accidentally left one of the dryer covers halfway off where it could just fall out and onto the floor. He said as he was walking by it fell on his foot another faint injury to get someone in trouble for something small. He also takes pictures of small things that we do wrong like one time there was a square inch sized piece of paper towel I missed while sweeping and instead of telling me he took a picture of it and sent it to the boss. He will also take pictures of overloaded loads of laundry and send them to the boss. And you know guys that reminds me of the phrase snitches get stitches and personally I'm not really a fan of that phrase but I hope in this case it does apply. Either way, the boss literally told us he does not care about all the stuff he snitches on us for but he just keeps him around because he is a really good worker. He is also the rudest person you will ever meet in your life and tries to boss people around even though we are pretty much under everyone there and him and I are on the same level. He acts like he's my boss, I get into it with him every single day. One day I got pulled over on the way to work but I was really early that day so I was still 2 minutes early for my shift. He was the only person there when I arrived and I told everyone throughout the day that I got pulled over. Later I walked in on him telling my boss that I was lying about being pulled over to cover for the fact that I was late. I blew up on him, I was so damn mad. I have many other stories about this a-hole and could rant about him literally all day. I've never disliked someone as much as him. 
And guys, if you would like to hear more stories about this guy, who is apparently called Mike, let me know in the comments. And furthermore, if you have watched until here, please don't forget to post some star emojis in the comments if you enjoyed the video. In case you didn't know, star emojis are the sign of my community to signify slash show that they support me. Thank you very much in advance. The next one was posted by user Mean Melon, hands down the software engineer who was married with a one year old and who thought it was essential to let me know how much in love he was with me. And then when I got pissed and rejected him, he called me immature and unprofessional. He also felt so victimized that I felt uncomfortable. Why can't you be cool about it? I don't understand why this affects you. I'm the one who put my feelings on the line by telling you. Douchebag. <laughs> he would also dismiss all my ideas and then come up with brilliant ideas of his own 20 minutes later, aka the exact same thing I had told him. He also told me that he did not take me seriously the second he saw me because I am a girl and girls don't do programming. The first week he admitted that he gave me hard tasks on purpose because he did not think I could do it and was setting me up to fail. Not gonna lie guys, if it would be possible, I would love to punch that guy through the screen. Have you ever had a coworker like that, that purposefully set you up to fail when you were new? Let us know in the comments. The next one was posted by user homie home rose. I feel bad saying this because this girl is not malicious in any way, but my coworker never ever stops talking. She is really into anime, not judging that, but it's not my thing, and she will spend literally hours detailing all the characters and episodes of her shows. She is also writing a fantasy book, nothing has been actually written of course, and spends entire 9 hour shifts detailing the ridiculous and unoriginal storyline. Now, you might say I must be encouraging this in some way, but when she does this I literally do not acknowledge, reply, nod my head or let her know that I am listening in any way. I will continue to work and even just walk out of the room without saying anything and she will start right back up as soon as I am back. I have asked for quiet, said I need to concentrate so I cannot really listen to her right now, I have tried everything short of straight up telling her to button her yap, she still has not shut up for a single minute, if I tell the manager I will look like a huge a-hole. And the next one was posted by user Animousy. I work at a disability services agency, I work one on one with individuals so I don't really have co-workers. However, when I'm working with a participant and we go out somewhere like the library, it is easy to recognize other people who work for my agency. I don't know these workers by name, but I hate some of them because they do literally nothing with their participant or they treat the other person terribly. I've seen a lot of workers just put headphones on the participants and let them watch mindless videos for a long time. That is not work, that is not even babysitting and it was incredibly disrespectful to the person you are supposed to be serving. Someone told me that they once saw a worker leave her participant in the car so she could go shopping ULTA, whatever that means. I have run into workers at my agency and have seen them yelling at their participants and treating them disrespectfully. It is disgusting, if you don't want this job then effing quit, don't use people for money and treat them like crap in the process. The next one was posted by user MJB and she says, or he says, Christina, she is the mean girl of the office, we actually used to be good friends but we wronged each other. I apologized to her but she refused to apologize because she did not think she did anything wrong. For a year while I was dealing with infertility issues she was going through a divorce and that was all she talked about, any time I brought up my issues she would usually turn it back to hers. Once her divorce was settled and I went through a third miscarriage she told me that she did not want to hear about it because she did not need to deal with the negativity. She likes to tell people how charitable she is but she will talk bad about clients and has no empathy. She will walk by all her co-workers, it is a small office and not even say hello until her one friend comes in and then she acts like she has not seen her in years. She will make a big show of making plans for the office but will exclude a couple of people. And she never confronts someone with a small issue, she runs to her boss or the office manager instead of taking care of it discreetly with the co-worker. 
She is a shallow, small-minded instigator and it would honestly be a harmonious office if it was not for her. And guys, I'm curious, do you have such a little troublemaker in your office? Let us know about that in the comments. This one was posted by a throwaway. We work in a fairly low level, low training position, not complicated, but as far as she's concerned, it is damn rocket science. She's been on the job for a year now and is still asking day one questions and making day one mistakes every single day. The rest of the team spends almost as much time cleaning up after her as we do on our own work. I am always apologizing to customers on her behalf. My boss put her on the most brainless mechanical duty and she still manages to F it up. She's like a program. The moment any situation comes up which she was not specifically programmed for and I do mean any situation such as a piece of information being in a different box than usual, her brain shorts out. She has changed my opinion on the phrase there are no stupid questions, she has this way of breathing in sharply whenever she's about to ask something, every time I hear that sound, a shudder runs down my spine. The next one was posted by user Jenna Leyletch, my coworker who constantly milks the clock and stands around doing nothing. I usually don't have to deal with him, but today was the final straw. Mother's Day, the busiest day of the year in the restaurant business. He comes in late and is working the grill. I am the baker, so I don't even work near him. He tells the other guys on the line, who are extremely busy, that he does not have enough pancake batter, which is his responsibility to stock since he's making the pancakes and proceeds to take a 30 minute break before we open. He was not even there an hour. Then he comes up to me and asks me to make the pancake better for him because he's super busy. I looked him in the eye and said, that is not my job nor my problem. You decided to take a 30 minute break knowing you did not have any pancake better. Make it yourself, I've got things to do. So he shut up and made the pancake better. The next one was posted by user Victoric Wrong. I don't even care if this does not get seen, finally a place to rent. I work in a grocery store selling gourmet and imported cheeses. The person I work most directly with is a 55 year old woman, I don't know why she does not like me, I cannot think of anything in the two years we have worked together that would warrant this treatment, but she constantly talks down to me, grumbles under her breath about me and talks about me when I am not there. I had a mental breakdown in August of last year and while I was gone she told people that I had complications from an abortion. When I went into the shop and a person I did not even know asked me if it was true, I ended back up in crisis. Luckily, I have a fantastic support system. She also had started a rumor the only reason my husband had proposed to me was because I was pregnant. All of these hurt because my family has a history with infertility and I have tricked myself into thinking that I don't want kids and then I hear stuff like that and it hurts. That is just the tip of the iceberg too. She is legitimately the one person I hate the most in the world. And the next one was posted by user number 002. He is an insecure twerp who talks to everyone like he is in charge of the whole operation. In reality he seems to me to have very low average intelligence. The quality of his work is completely subpar and he loves to stir up drama whenever possible. I could go on forever, he lied about accidentally starting a fire at work and asked me to cover for him, while at the same time berating other staff for not being careful about putting their cigarettes out. Every task given to him is accompanied by prolonged and audible groaning, literally for the entire length of the task he makes sure you know he is unhappy. He listens to his own music in the office very loudly and hums and taps his feet loudly to the best of the music and when someone asks him to turn it down, he then storms off to another group of people to talk shit about how much the person sucks. In a group of talented professionals, he's by far the least talented, least educated and least willing to learn. When someone gives him advice or direction, his response is literally just silence. 
He refuses to help himself with anything, he asks for help with things as easy as looking up an address or getting driving directions. He made up his own job title, lead designer, and put it in his email signature. We have a clear and recognized lead designer already, it makes about as much sense as me putting POTUS in my email signature. It is poor delusion. After writing this, I now think he is probably mentally ill or dysfunctional at some level. Even so, F this guy, he does not get fired because we are too nice to do anything about this and it is a small business. We don't have an HR department or any way to sort this out. We all just live in misery with this dude. And the next one was posted by user It's Bayer. The new guy, I don't hate him or particularly dislike him, but the first time we met as a whole team, we worked separately in different locations, he said something about agreeing that women were baby making machines. I'm not the one that enjoys arguing feminism, especially during work meetings, but we were like, wait what? And he said, my mom was a single mother, it's okay. What's okay? You were not the single mother. Why don't you tell your single mom that she was just a baby making machine and see how she responds? I don't know if he was actually joking or being sarcastic, but for now he is my least favorite. Another guy who deserves the screen fist if you ask me. Next one was posted by user Beatney. The guy who cannot handle the slightest bit of pressure, why are you working in a very popular bar Friday and Saturday nights? He will blame everything that goes wrong on everyone else, he literally walked into me last weekend and spilled the drink he had made on me and then started shouting about how it was my fault for being stood still just picking mint. It's like he's an only child that was never told no because he cannot deal with even the slightest bit of criticism. I asked him to not dry his hands on the bar towels because I used them to polish glasses and I cannot do that when they are wet. He proceeded to smash a bunch of stuff about because he does not like that. Me, the manager and the owner have spoken about this many times, only for nothing to happen. They both agree his attitude absolutely sucks and something needs to change and now he is being made supervisor. I am handing my two week notice in on Friday. The next one was posted by user Lexi Banner. The coworker I have to work with closely, unfortunately we share duties. She's proud to be a hard ass, aka being a real BITCH. Nothing short of utter perfection is good enough and even when things are perfect, she is seeking out the next error. All day every day I get to listen to her narrate every mistake she finds. She especially loves to point out my mistakes, but when I mention a number entered incorrectly by her, I get Yeah, yeah, I didn't mean to. She is inept with computers, I cannot count how many times I have shown her the same Excel formula, a basic addition formula, it is painful to watch her mouse to every new cell instead of hitting tab or enter. The worst is how I have shown her to save a file as PDF, to email as a quote and she still emails the spreadsheet in full, thus giving our customer all of our costs. Every story I tell gets commandeered by her so she can talk about her vile grandchildren. If it's not that, I'm learning about her son's testicular issues or her daughter's struggle with breast problems. That or how she has to wipe her mother when she visits the care home. Damn, I don't need to effing know, but I do in detail. Worst of all, she is a retiree from the bank, this is not bad in and of itself, but every day she goes on about how she just does this for fun and does not need to work, she was just bored. It infuriates me because our position would be an amazing opportunity for someone looking to get out of a retail job. Someone in their 20s or 30s looking to develop a real career without needing to go to school for 5 years. To see her wallowing in this job when I know so many more tech savvy people that are looking for a good opportunity makes me irrationally angry. The first one was posted by user Kim Boley and he says, I have a coworker who just loves trying to one up everyone, if you have a story he has a similar one but his is always worse slash better. The worst time this came up was last year when a friend of mine took his own life. I was at work a few days later and mentioned it to him while trying to explain why I was in a bad mood and really not looking to put up with other people's crap. And what does he say to me? He says with a disgusting smug little look on his face, 
I have a friend who tried to F himself, but I got in there in time to save his life. It was like a kick in the gut and I do not think I will ever forgive him for it. And guys, did you ever have co-workers that always try to one-up everyone? Let us know in the comments. And guys, unfortunately, we have already reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories and if you haven't already, please also go to patreon.com slash ripe YouTube, where I upload exclusive Reddit videos starting at just $3 a month. This is a great way to support me in case you are interested and the chance for me to become independent from YouTube revenue. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I hope to see you again tomorrow.